Having the best trading tools is important to a professional Forex and crypto trader. Maverick Currencies believes TradingView is one of the best tools for traders. Since our traders trade our capital and keep 70 to 80% of profits, it's essential to have the best trading tools, which is why we substantially train all our traders to use TradingView to maximize their profits. We're happy to share our expertise with the public to make you a better Forex or crypto trader. If you're ready to be a professional Forex and crypto trader, click on the apply link in the video description. Now on to our tutorial. Hello there Mavericks. In this TradingView tutorial, I will be going over my favorite drawing tools within TradingView. All right, so in a previous tutorial, I covered how to create a favorites toolbar of your favorite drawing tools, and you can see that I have mine right here. Now, as an Elliott Wave trader and analyst, I of course have Elliott Wave tools. So I have the drawing tools for a standard impulse right here, for an Elliott Wave corrective sequence, for an Elliott Wave triangle, for complex corrections, which is the WXY drawing tool, and then for uh, the most complex corrective sequence, which is a WXYXZ drawing tool. So you can find those um, under where it, it says patterns, right? So that's the fourth icon from the top, right? In the top left-hand corner, one, two, three, and four patterns. So all I have to do is click on that little left triangle and it will bring those up. So those are my Elliott Wave drawing tools. Now, if you're uh, trading harmonic patterns like a cipher, for example, then you might prefer to use cipher patterns, right? So you could be looking at something like this, for example, you know, and there right there is your cipher drawing tool. It's personally not something that I use a whole lot. Some other favorite tr uh, drawing tools I have is the trend line, the very simple and humble trend line. Uh, so I love drawing trend lines. You know, they, they're a huge part of my trading toolkit overall. So it's something that I look at quite a bit. The other thing I look at are parallel channels. So parallel channel is like a trend line, but uh, once you place the channel, you have a parallel of that original trend line that you drew. So I also use parallel uh, channels quite a bit. So you can find those tools under trend line tools, which is the second from the top after the crosshair. Now, so you can see how I favorited some trend line tools. And then the final thing we're going to be looking at today are Fibonacci tools. So my favorite Fibonacci tool that I use uh, are the Fib retracements and the trend-based Fib extension. So these will be uh, the fourth, again, from the, sorry, three, the second from the top, GAN and Fibonacci tools. And you can see I have Fib retracements and the trend-based Fib extension both favorited. So the way the retracement tool works um, is that I click on the retracement tool. I'm going to draw my fib retracement tools always from the left to the right. So I start from this extreme here, the low from the from uh, Monday, August 21st, to this high here from Wednesday, August 30th. And you can see that right now in this stock in GDX, this ETF, we are currently sitting at a 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. Pretty neat. Um, and then. The, uh, the trend-based FIB extension tool is a little bit different. So with the retracement tool, you only needed two points of contact. With the trend-based FIB extension tool, you need three points of contact. So my first point of contact is again gonna be that August 21st low, followed by the August 30th high, and then I'm gonna take the tool to the low from this morning, Wednesday, September 6th. And now this lets me come up with targets. So if I thought GDX was to put in a low today, like today, and I was looking for a measured move, I would target the 100% FIB extension level, which is 3098. Um, so why is that? Here's another reason I love trend, uh, trend lines. So let's say I draw a trend line for this move. I'm gonna right click on that trend line, click on clone, and I'm just gonna move this trend line from today's low, and you can see that it matches up perfectly with that trend-based FIB extension level. So I love using the retracement tool to figure out where we might find support or resistance in a market. Then I love using the trend-based FIB extension tool uh, to look for potential targets on my trades. So I hope this video is helpful. If you have a drawing tool that you love more and it's something I'm not using, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to check it out. All right, traders, that's it for me for now. See you in the next video.